Hello everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at crab pots and whether or not they are worth your time as they are quite labor intensive compared to other means of money making. Should you even bother making one in the first place? That's what we're going to be figuring out today, so make sure you stick around. And as always, be sure to subscribe if you enjoy the video. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up maybe 30 or so crab pots and collect them every day for 3 days and see if they turn out a profit similar to that of something I would typically do for money making such as a crystallarium farm, or animals such as pigs, or even just a standard farm with crops. Now typically you would actually have to put bait in your crab pots manually, but since I have my level 10 fishing on lure master, I don't actually have to do it. And additionally, my level 5 fishing has allowed me to not collect trash in my crab pots. So keep in mind when I'm calculating that, if you're low level and you haven't spent your professions on the crab pot ones, you're not going to be making as much and it's going to be taking a lot more effort than I'm putting in. So here we are, day one of collecting. We have quite a few shells, lobsters and crabs. I'm going to collect these all in the time lapse and let's see what they're worth and the bin. So everything's dropped in the bin, let's head to bed and see what this is all worth. So it looks like we got 4300 gold, um, not actually as much as I was expecting considering I have about 40 crab pots, that's about 100 per crab pot. Compared to my other means of collection, like this bee farm and this crystallarium farm with diamonds, and even the pigs over here, that 4,000 a day is not very much, especially considering I've spent two perks on the crab pots, which means I can't actually make as much fishing, and I also have to put in a lot more work than, per se, just running down these lanes and collecting diamonds. However, that actually could just be a fluke, so I'm going to be testing it again. You never know if you just got all really unlucky and just got things that weren't worth very much money. So I'm going to collect for two more days and see if I get similar results, and if I do, then I can safely conclude that crab pots are not really worth the time. Alright, my items are in the bin. Let's see if we get a similar result. Last time it was 4,300, somewhere around there. Today we're going to get... literally almost the exact same amount of gold. I'm going to test it one more day just to make sure. I collected for a third day and it looks like we're hitting around the same mark, around a 4,300 mark. It looks like this was actually a bit less than the other two days, so it's a little bit inconsistent and it's still not really giving me much money. So all things considered, are crab pots worth it? My answer would be no. I have to waste two perk slots for it to even be viable, and even then, it still wouldn't really make me much money. I would personally stick with an auto farm, such as these crystallariums, or these beehives, even these pigs here, or just set up Jumino huts and collect crops. Those are going to get you way more money, and it'll take a lot less effort. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, and subscribe for more Stardew Valley content. Bye!